This is how to replace the uh, spindle bearing um, for any 100 series Land Cruiser or any year LX470. Um, you're going to want to offer the truck. Um, this is where the upper ball joint mounts to. Uh, this is for the lower. Um, you know, I have mine uh, completely stripped pretty much. Um, you know, there's a seal that usually goes around here um, with a gasket. And then what we're after is on the other side. Um, there's usually a seal that uh, sits around here. Um, I would recommend just replacing that while you're in here. The easiest way to get that off is to um, just take a flathead screwdriver and stick it in this gap in between here and just try to like pry it um, towards the center to kind of like bend it. And then you're going to want to stick it in there um, and then pry like this to like pry it out. And then you're just going to want to do that all the way around and then it, it'll come out pretty easy. Um, if you live in the, in the rust belt, um, it'll probably look kind of like this, um, rust along this edge that that seal actually sits on. Um, mine actually has a little bit of rust inside here too. So later on, I'll just take some sandpaper and try to clean that up, make it as smooth and uh, flat as possible for the new, um, the new seal. And then, um, this in there, I don't know if you can see it, is the bearing we're going for. So this is the brass bushing on the outside and then in here is the bearing. Um, a, lot of, a lot of people say that they'll pretty much last forever. Um, they're like super tough, but I figure that if I'm getting um, this far, I might as well just replace all of them anyway. So um, the easiest way to actually get that out, sorry, this is hard to do with one hand. So the easiest way to, easiest way to get that out is um, flip it like this, um, set it on like uh, a couple wood blocks or something like this. And then um, I have a brass, um, a brass uh, punch that I just wrapped in uh, duct tape on like the handle and the very end of it. And then like the end is still the brass part. But so then that's for like when you stick it in here to pound the bearing out, it doesn't um, scratch this inner edge or right um by the bushing down like deep in there so yeah that's what you want to go for um just like hit in one place and kind of just like go go around in a circle like hit here 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 and then here um and just try to like slowly push it out that brass bushing um is the first thing that will come out um and then if you just keep going, the actual uh, spindle bearing will fall out too. And then uh, once I do that, I'll uh, pick up and show you how to press them in. Okay, so I uh, just pressed the um, bushing and bearing out. I um, thought I'd just show how these sit in here. Um, so this um, spindle bearing actually sits like that. And then um, it's pressed in. And then this sits... This bushing sits on top of it like that. Um, an important thing to note uh, with these is inside of here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually a lip um, where this this bearing looks like it's supposed to sit, but it actually sits completely flush with the brass bushing, so this actually doesn't go all the way in until that lip. Um, because there's, and that's actually important because on, on the drive shaft, there's actually, um, the way it's machined is this, this, uh, bearing will actually sit like here and then there's actually a step like right about here. So if that, if that, um, if this bearing isn't pressed in and like flush, completely flush, 
put it like that, this bearing will actually sit like out here somewhere. Um, I don't know if it really if it really matters that much, but I would just like to put it put it in the way it came out. It's just the safest bet. And the other thing is. Uh, when you do this, you're going to want to make sure that, like, everything is, is as clean as it possibly can be. It'll just, like, um, save you headaches in the future. So, any tools you put in here, you want to clean. Um, anytime there's, like, dirt or any, anything sitting on the outside, you want to clean that as best as you can. And before we press these in, I'm going to just clean everything out. Uh, use some brake clean and um, spray it all out and try to get some rags and... Make it, make it really, really clean before I press the new ones in. Um, yeah, so just I'll see you when I press them in. Okay, so I have the uh, spindle bearing um, pressed in. It's just sitting right here. Um, and this goes on top of it. But um, to get this in, I used um, a 50 millimeter um, seal or a bearing driver. Um, I just use that to get it down pretty much like flat with this like step in here. Um, it wouldn't let me go any farther because it's not small enough to actually push it farther in. So I had to grab another one. Um, I used a 44 and a half millimeter driver just to get it past this little lip here just far enough because you want to press it a little farther in and then um, use this uh, brass bushing to actually press it the rest of the way in you just want to it doesn't really matter how far in it is um, you just want to be able to set this on top of it and then have this actually drive it the rest of the way in and then they'll uh, be completely flush so yeah and then to do that I think I'm probably just going to use um, uh, 39 and a half millimeter driver that just sets right in there and then yeah I just pound that one in and then it'll be in okay the bearing and um, bushing are completely uh, seated and pressed in um, one last thing you're, you're gonna want to do is just uh, grab some grab some grease um, and just like put it in here and try to um, just pack it a little bit until uh, you can actually push uh, some grease through it when it's back on the truck. Um, one thing I highly recommend um, getting to keep your spindle bearing good is uh, getting one of these. So this is a uh, Slee um, Grease Meister is what they call it. It's just a spindle grease tool. So you uh, you just like screw it on to um, the spindle it'll fit any uh, 54 millimeter Toyota Lexus spindle um, so you just spin it on there and then as a grease zerk on the end and then you just uh, pump it full of grease and it'll push grease all the way through here until it pushes into this uh, bearing so this thing will be fully packed and then it'll like push out so um, I don't even think that you can buy one of these like it's a special tool or something you can buy um, from Toyota because um, I don't know it seems like it's not a very um, known about bearing um, I certainly didn't know about it until I um, started reading about it and uh, my truck was making some noise so yeah that's why we're here um, anyway I hope I hope this helped somebody um, if you have any questions just leave it in the comments and uh, I'd, I'd gladly um, help you out thanks for watching